Here is an example where we will evaluate this improper integral or show that it diverges. Now, if you quickly look at this integral, it looks definite because we see numbers for limits of integration. However, if you look carefully here, this integrand is unbounded at x equals zero. So we have an infinite discontinuity here. And this is a type two improper integral. So we begin with the definition. This would be a limit as a approaches zero. Well, technically you're approaching zero from bigger values. That would be a limit from the right of the integral from a to one of x to the minus one half ln x dx. The first thing we need to ask ourselves is how do we integrate this function? We see a product, natural log times x to the minus one half, and it's not sort of a straightforward substitution. And so this suggests integration by parts. If we follow our acronym, LIATE, our very first option, the log, we have. So u will be ln x, and dv will be everything else, including the dx which will be x to the minus one half dx. And now we differentiate du is one over x dx. And here we integrate. And so this is power rule. We add a power, divide by the higher power. This will be two x to the one half power. Integration go by parts goes uv minus the integral of v du. And I typically will put a box like this. So, I am first doing the definite integral, and then at the very end, I will evaluate this limit as a approaches zero on the right. Okay, well we have, this is two square root x ln x, two square root x ln x, and then evaluated between a and one, minus the integral from a to one, of, this will be 2x to the 1 half divided by x dx. Okay, I just keep recopying the limit. In fact, this is the very last thing I do. I am in the process right now of calculating my definite integral. And I can go ahead and evaluate this part. It's fine. We have 2, natural log 1. In fact, the natural log 1 is 0. Subtract off, we have 2 square root of a ln a. And then we have a minus. You see, this is the integral from a to one. This is two x to the minus one half. This we can integrate dx. Now, next step, we have minus two square root a ln a. When we integrate, once again, we add a power, divide by the higher power. So this will be x to the one half, and then times two times two. That we have all together four x to the one half. And we evaluate between a and one. We have a limit as a approaches zero on this side coming from the right. We have minus two square root a ln a. We have minus four times the square root of one, and then plus four square root of a. Okay. Now I have computed a definite interval. I have computed this. The last thing to do is calculate this limit. We will know if the improper interval converges or diverges. So here, Four square root of a as you approach zero. Well, this goes to four times zero, which is zero. This doesn't have an a in it. But then we have to think about this one, and this is the challenge here. So this part, minus two square root a, this is approaching zero as a approaches zero. But you see natural log, so let's write above what's happening. This one approaches zero. The natural log of a approaches negative infinity as a approaches zero, coming from the right. 
Now, zero times minus infinity, that does not mean that the limit exists. It does not mean that the limit does not exist. This is indeterminate. And so what that says is we need to do something else. Well, what do you do when you have an indeterminate form and you want to calculate a limit? In Calc 1, say, we use L'Hopital. And we can here, except we have to do a little bit of algebra first, because L'Hopital's rule works when you have infinity over infinity, say with a plus or minus, it's fine. Or when you have zero over zero as the indeterminate forms. If you have infinity times zero, or minus infinity times zero, uh, you have to do a little bit of work first. You can't directly use it. So what I'd like to do, maybe I will move to a new page. And all I'm going to do is take this part, and talk about this limit. We want a limit as a approaches zero on the right of minus two square root a ln a. So let's rewrite it. This would be a limit as a approaches zero on the right. I'm gonna put the ln a in the numerator, but then, okay, I'll put the minus two here too, is fine. The square root though, I'm gonna write it in the denominator as a power. In the denominator, this would be a negative one half. So you notice properties of exponents, this and this, they are equal. But the reason I did this is because now as a approaches zero from the right, you see numerator, well, it's now going to positive infinity because of the negative two and one over the square root of a as a approaches zero. This is also going to infinity. So now I have an indeterminate form, but it is of the type that I can use L'Hopital's rule. This is wonderful. So I'll write a little LH for L'Hopital. We have a limit as A approaches zero on the right. What L'Hopital's rule says is take the derivative on the top, take the derivative on the bottom, reevaluate the limit. So here we have negative two divided by a, that's the derivative on the top. On the bottom, we have negative one half, a to the minus, uh, three halves. Okay, reevaluate the limit. Well, looking at it like this, it still looks like we would get um, uh, plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity, but we do not need L'Hopital again. We could just use properties of exponents here. So this would be, a limit as a goes to zero on the right. Altogether, you see I have four. I have an a to the three halves in the numerator and I have an a in the denominator. And one more step before I actually evaluate this limit. It's a limit as a goes to zero on the right, four times the square root of a. This limit is zero. So, we have this final limit that we needed for this improper integral. We just calculated here, this limit. Zero. And so altogether, we have the limit as a approaches zero of this entire thing is zero minus four plus zero, which is negative four. This is a convergent improper integral and its value is negative four. Thank you so much.